This is the plaintiff, Virginia Gregoza. She says the defendants, her neighbors, need to keep a close watch on their 100-pound boxer because the dog lunged at her one day and clawed her. She fell to the ground with a thud. Her knee was banged up pretty good, and all the defendants had to say was, blank you, and that they were going to kill her. Nice, real nice. She's suing for $5,000 for medical bills and pain and suffering. These are the defendants, Yaralise More and Yadira Rosario. Yaralise says the plaintiff was walking her dog, and when she saw their boxer, she threw herself down on top of her own dog and started cursing her out. Now the woman's trying to milk them out of money because their dog never attacked anyone. The only injury the plaintiff has was self-inflicted, and they simply owe nothing. They're accused of causing a neighboring feud. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff says the defendant's 100-pound boxer lunged at her. She got hurt, and the defendant couldn't care less. But the defendant says the injury was self-inflicted. It's the case of now the boxer's story will be told. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, man. Virginia Gregoza, you are suing Yadielis Moray and Yadira Rosario for $5,000 in damages for pain and suffering, vet visits, lost wages, and your medical bills because their dog got out and attacked, according to you, your dog. Tell me what happened. Uh, I have pictures here in the diagram. Okay, but talk to me. First. Oh, um, I got home from my second job late, 11 o'clock. I worked two jobs. 11 at I, night? Right, I live in a condo, condo, condo. Her house is adjacent to our street, so there is a fence blocking her house. As me and Dexter, my miniature schnauzer, who's only 25 pounds, walked up to the sidewalk, her dog came charging, jumped on me, knocked me down, then it continued to jump on my dog. Her dog's a boxer, 100-pound dog, pulling me to the ground, injuring my knee and my back because I tried to pull the dog apart. She was in the house at the time, nowhere around. I was screaming for five minutes. And by the time she came out, I was down the ground, bleeding, and she didn't. Wait, use, who was on the ground bleeding? I was, because I fell, because what? I fell with, right. the, with holding the leash here, and they was pulled with the weight of the 100 pound boxer on my schnauzer, right. pulling us down. So I, I, I was bleeding and on my knee, and she finally came out, didn't say, sorry, are you all right, and just called the dog off, and I told her I was calling the police. Did you call the police? Yes, ma'am. And what, what did the police do? I have the report right here. Let me see the report, and then. Um, Show me that diagram again. Yeah. And I pictures of the dog, if you want to see that. I do. All right. Did you take your yeah. dog to the vet? Yes, ma'am. And I took him to the vet. Then I went, went to the emergency room. OK, well, hold on. First, let's talk about the vet. Do you have the vet, the report yes. from the vet? And was your dog injured? No, because I, it was February, and I had this sweater on him, and that protected him from getting oh, the bite. I see the sweater. I had the sweater on him. Yeah, but how did the, I mean, yeah. I, I don't see how that, I mean, it's not like a bulletproof vest. I no, mean, it's not. So these holes are where the dog's legs, I mean, I'm totally he was, confused. He was, no, the dog's yeah. legs will go here. So this is from the attack? Yes, yeah, from the well, pulling then, of the leash. It, then teeth made the those. Leashes, I have a harness on him. The leash came through the, the, there, pulling him. I have a harness on him. The leash came. I don't understand how these holes would be here, but injury wouldn't be on your dog. He, there's, there's no bites because the sweater protects him. Yeah, but this is an enormous rip. If a tooth went through that, it should have gone through the fur and no, the skin. I, 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 no, no. They had a harness on him with the chain there, and it, when they pulled, I pulled the dog out, and that's how it ripped. That's not from biting, no. All right, so tell me what happens to your dog. Um, I you took the dog the, to the vet, and right. they um, just gave a physical exam. Because I, And I this would, happened on what date? February 11th. I took him the next day because he was hiding under the bed. Okay, so your vet bills were $73.82. Right. Okay, and then when did you go to the emergency room? The next day. My brother picked me up, obviously, because I couldn't drive because it was my right knee, and we went there and made sure nothing was broken because I'm not young. I have osteoporosis. Osteoporosis. Right. I'm sorry. Right. That's okay. <laughs> right. And so he took me to the emergency room. He took me to the emergency room. Tell that. me, do you have a picture of the knee? I just gave it to you. You gave it to me. Okay. Yeah. Hold on one second. 
I have the hospital bill here, emergency room. And I had to stay Okay, hold home. on, hold on, hold on, because I'm trying to look at things and hear you at the same time. Okay, so did your dog get out? Yes. How she did was, your dog get out? I, have, I was moving boxes from my vehicle into the home, so the door was open. And, um, but why wasn't the dog secured inside? Because she usually doesn't run out, and she didn't. She was on my lawn. She doesn't run off. Like, well, well she ran off this time. Well, that's right? what she's claiming happened. Well, okay, but hold on a second. Mm -hmm. The lady's not on your lawn, right? She's not on your lawn with the dog. No, she was at right. the Right, and your gate. dog, you came and got your dog, right? My dog didn't leave my lawn. When my dog got excited, I grabbed her by the neck and the um, stomach area. Okay, tell me what happened. You just tell me what you say happened. Is this your dog? Yes. Tiny little It was late that eating. night, and um, I was moving boxes from inside my car into the home, and my dog got out. Uh, she's seen the little dog. I have a Yorkie in the home. Very playful dog. She doesn't attack, like she's saying. Um, I mean, listen, she, they're animals. That's how they're mm -hmm. wired. They're not humans. They don't, under, right. you know, they do what they want to do. Right. It's the human. Be we never punish the dog for being a dog. We punish the human for not containing their dog. Correct. You see what I'm saying? But go ahead. So she seen the dog got excited. I seen that she seen the dog get excited. I grabbed her. She started screaming, jumped on the floor. Rolled on the floor. I don't know what else she did after that. I brought my dog inside. My dog so I'm didn't not understanding. Get, Are you saying, well, how close did your dog get to her dog? My dog didn't get at, to her or the dog at all. Okay. Now, when, the, how is it you find out that there's a problem that your dog got out? You hear the screaming? She was saying, get your... I mean, oh, well, that's get right. your dog and all this. Okay, you know, so, so clearly stuff had happened before you walked out and grabbed your dog, but you know, found your dog already. on the lawn and grabbed the dog up because you're busy moving boxes and leaving the door open. Are you, what's your relationship? I'm her mother, and okay. that's my apartment. Okay, so um, obviously you didn't see what happened before you walked out no. and saw what happened. I seen my dog get out. That's, that's what I'm saying. I seen my dog get out, and I was So you right see your there. dog get out? You don't prevent the dog from getting out? The, no, because my dog doesn't attack. I, didn't, I don't understand why she can't go on her front lawn. Because you can't have the dog. Does your front lawn have, have a fence around it? No, it doesn't. Then she can't go on your front lawn. That's okay. the answer, just so you're very clear. Because what the law requires is that you have your animal within your control at all times. And you're not allowed to say, oh, my dog's really well behaved, so my dog can hang out there, because people like you end up being invariably wrong. So we don't leave it up to each of you to decide whether or not your dog, your powers of persuasion over your dog are so intense that your dog can be unleashed on your front lawn without a gate. We don't allow that. We demand that you have your dog at all times when in public within your control, which means leash. That's why we have leash laws. All right, now your version of this is my dog didn't attack her dog she threw herself down or lost her balance or whatever. And the proof of what I'm saying, Judge, is look at the vet report. There's nothing wrong with the dog. She, all she got charged for was the actual no, also examination. I have, I have a police report that the police met the, my dog. And that your dog's friendly. Right. I don't care. That's so Whoa. stupid. I don't know why the police bother to put <laughs> stuff like that in there. What difference is it? Mean, my dog is very friendly. But if you, yes. you know, if my dog thinks you're doing something to me, you're going to have your innards ripped out. But my dog is super friendly and babies play with it. And I'm like, it's a, like, so what? Like we're all, even a murderer is really nice at some points in its life. It's not the dog. The dog's doing, what kind of dog is it by the way? A boxer. Right, the dog is doing what dogs do. But let's say it's exactly, I'm gonna go with your theory. I'm gonna go with the theory that um, her injuries are not from trying to get your dog off of her dog. She was shielding her, like shield But that dog. she was shielding and she got hurt shielding. I'm gonna go with it even though I don't believe that you saw the whole thing happen because then it's even worse, then you should have stopped your dog. But I'm gonna go with it because I wanna take it to its natural conclusion, legally speaking. Okay, boxers, good dogs, aggressive dogs, bad dogs, skittish dogs, what are they? Super aggressive dogs. I got attacked by a boxer a couple of months ago, bit me on the arm. You're kidding me. No. What do you say? High energy, good dogs, but they need to be really well trained. They're like. J jumpy horses, they just have They're a little jittery. I had a boxer that I loved so much I can barely even talk about it going inside the courtroom. If I'm walking my dog and your big dog is coming and I have a dog that's a barking cat, a tiny little thing like this dog, 
I might love my dog so much that my inclination is to shield my dog. It's not the best idea, but that would be my inclination. But the only reason that I, even if that's how she got her injuries, it's only happening because your dog got out. So it's still going to be your fault. Even if it's under your theory, it still would be your fault. I'm not saying it's not my fault. Okay. Ma'am, can I say something? If you're just going to repeat yourself, no. No, no. Okay. Um, this, this is not, the, prior to this, um, I live in County, another, this dog attacked another little dog. She did not file an official police report because her dog was okay because he got off the leash and ran back home. Do you have any evidence of what you just said? Um, yeah, I have a statement from the lady. Let me see it. What are your lost wages that you're suing for? $752.80. Where, based on what? I have two jobs. I work for the federal government. I come home, walk Dexter, then I work from 6 to 10.30 at Home Depot. I couldn't stand because I, my knee was swollen. So how many days of lost wages are you suing for? Three, well, I have two different jobs. So three, three, and three full days, and then two different prices. Three, three, three full days, Do three and four days. Do you have proof of your wages? Yeah. I'll find it. Okay, so I'm going to give you a minute while I talk to her, and you yeah. give me the proof of any yeah. lost bills. wages. Okay, Ms. Morey, did you ever speak to the plaintiff after this happened when you say you grabbed your dog? Um, did you talk to her? No. Did she say anything she, to you? She told me she was calling the police, and I told her to do what she had to do. Okay. Um, what she did, she called the police. I spoke with the officer the next day. Um, I actually have a police report. I filed the harassment against her because every time she would see me, she would call me a stupid little and she would tell me she's getting some money out of me. Right. My neighbor downstairs, he's been living there for 12 years, he wrote a statement for me. Saying what? That she's, she likes to start trouble. She actually stands in front of our home and the Yorkie barks outside the window, so she provokes him and then, you know, she's talking crap to the window. Oh, yeah. What is this? This is your affidavit? That's what he gave me. Yeah, I, I can't do one. anything. I, any... I can't do anything on his end. Well, I have something here. <laughs> I would like you to see, because... I don't know the lady's then name, she but claimed she she's told very the police, rude. <laughs> she I'm told a... the police officer I told her I would kill her. Yeah, because That we, is serious She has been arrested she's a month before. against me. Please show her that. The, the <laughs> third time the dog got out, she, I was coming back from the walk, like I said, and she said, ha-ha, you're not getting any money, and I'll kill your dog and, your, and you. That's what she said. And then I found... What is this? That she was arrested for... Threat, strangulation, threatening, and assault. Who was degrees. you were? Yeah. yeah. What did you get arrested for? It was a fight between me and a girl. That's over with. What happened with that charge? It's like pending. Did you plead to it? Or, well, it's yeah, not yeah, over yeah. with, it's pending. Well, you, what I, were you charged with? It was a strangulation charge. What does that have to do with that? I don't know what it has to do with that. What does it have to do with it? With I want to hear about case. it. No, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, what I'm just saying is, you know, when I'm trying to figure out whether she's right when she says that she said she was going to kill her, and that's it active. might have a little something to do with it if she's charged a week earlier with strangling another person. That was it not... might. I don't know. I'm crazy. Call me crazy. That wasn't a week earlier. Anyway, and those charges are actually accusations. What was it, a month because, earlier? A month. Because a month the earlier? lady didn't okay. even show up to court because she was right. also okay. just talking. I'm going to order them to pay the vet visit. I'm going to order them to pay for the dog sweater. All these things, e e even if, which I don't believe, I believe that the dog made contact with your dog. But even if he didn't, the only th reason why any of this would happen is because a dog gets out. I'm going to order them to pay your medical bills. You have proof of the gas that you're suing for. What's a gas for? I couldn't drive. It was my right leg, so my brother, who lives in Avon, had to pick me up to Do take me. Do you have any proof of the gas? So no. You're it's, it's, well, if you're not going to work, where are you driving? Okay. I went and to then, the hospital. Um, pain, the rest of it, you're getting to the statutory max for pain and suffering. I'm going to add to this figure what I believe is appropriate pain and suffering, and I'm going to order the defendants in this case to pay the plaintiff $2,000. That's my judgment. Thank right you. Thank you. So the plaintiff gets a $2,000 judgment, Ms. Mara. What do you think about the outcome of this case? I'm happy. Think you can keep the peace in your neighborhood now? Yes. OK. <laughs> All right, well, I'm looking at you thinking, you tried to strangle somebody, you know? OK. Thank, Thank you, you very much. I don't know. Ms. Gargoza, you satisfied? Yeah, I think it was fair. 
And like I said, I, I don't have nothing against the dog. I'm just, well, she should keep another. If you had more evidence, you could have collected more. Right, perhaps. I know. That's your but own she fault. She was, right. Okay, yep. thank you so much. Yep. Evidence is so critically important in court, isn't it, Harvey? Yes, Doug, evidence is important. By the way, if you have a dog and that dog gets off your property and it is due to any lack of vigilance on your part, you are simply responsible for what happens. And that will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.